and we're going to get started here. I want to go through some things. First, I want to talk about um, classroom management stuff. And so I had a quick conversation. According to the schedule I gave you, you should be done with uh, Unbroken tomorrow. So you should be like, I think it's a, whatever the last chapter in the the epilogue or tomorrow. And my original intent was to then start like fishing out the Hunger Games and, and dropping it off at your houses and stuff like that. I can't tell you right now, I asked today, do we have an end date for the school year? So I'm planning on June 12th, which is about a month or so away. Um, no one knows, the state hasn't said it, so I can't tell you that. So because I don't know when the year end is coming, I'm not going to do as a class book. I'm not doing the Hunger Games. So I'm going to repeat that so that we hear that. I'm not doing the Hunger Games. Now I'm going to ask you to read something independently, which is whatever it is. Um, you can select anything you want. If you still want the Hunger Games, it's a great book. And I can also send you the link for the movie. <clears throat> if you want the Hunger Games, send me an email. And then between me the other people driving things around or whatever, um, we can drop it off for you. That's not an issue. They are at school. They're actually in a box in the high school library. <clears throat> so I'm leaving that to you, but I'm not going to do the Hunger Games book as a class thing. I'm not going to give you a schedule for it. None of that stuff. So that's a new change. That's as of today, that's something that's going on. It's just too much uh, of a, a concern with, since we don't know when the end of the school year is, there's a chance that the state's going to say that school continues till June 30th, and there's a chance that school says everything's done at June 12th. The look on Kylie Range's face when I said that was hysterical. It was like complete frog face right there, like, man, June 30th. Yeah, I know, that would be ridiculous. But this whole thing has been ridiculous. You guys are surviving. You're doing very well. I know this is yucky. I know it's stressful. I promise I know. Um, so that's why we're going to do something different. So Again, just to repeat, if you want to copy The Hunger Games, because it is a very good book, let me know, email me, I'll get you one. That's not a problem. So <clears throat> let's move on past that. We have to get cracking here. Uh, so there is an assignment, um, and I'll tell you who it was. It was Braden Booth, if I didn't tell you that last week. Braden said that he had a hard time with some of the stuff because he couldn't see an assignment. He, he saw like he wasn't paying attention to the thread or his emails, but he wasn't getting anything to pop up in his assignment. So that's why I added an assignment for you. You already know this. So let's talk about what you're doing right now. Uh, most of you have chosen a topic. I'm going to get you all to speak in just a second. If you've chosen a topic, cool, you can do today's work. If you have not chosen a topic, we need to get that going like right now. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Your job today, I, you can do this in class and be done using a Google Doc, a Notability file, a Word file, whatever you want. I'm going to ask you to take your topic and to go to just the open web, go to Chrome, Safari, whatever else. And I want you to just look up your topic using basic internet stuff. Next week, we'll use library things, but I just want you to use basic stuff for today. So uh, Haley Cooper, if you don't mind, I'm going to go around everybody. I know you can't see what I see, but I'm just going down the screen in order. Haley Cooper and Jaden's next. Haley, what's the topic you want to research or have you not chosen one yet? Chick-fil-A. Okay, so she's choosing the American company Chick-fil-A. Awesome. Thank you, Haley. Jaden Nelson, what's the topic that you wanted to research? Dodge. Dodge. Um, did you tell me that already? No, I didn't. I just decided it before okay. the meeting. Hey, real quick. So if you want to do Dodge or Ram trucks, because they're kind of different. Uh, I guess I'll do Ram trucks. Okay, very good. Because Ram, like if you buy a truck now, it's a Ram. It's technically not a Dodge. Same company, but that's fine. So Jaden, you're in like the 90s, they split or something. I don't know. It, that's exactly right. Uh, so that's awesome. Jaden, thank you. Uh, Keefe, I know what you have, but say for everybody, please, Mr. Keefe, what is your topic? I have the NFL. Very good. Ms. Range, you were first, the first person to email me. Ms. Range, what's your topic? G. Woo. Did you like see her roll her eyes when she said that? Did any, were you watching that? Because she did that little eye roll thing as though it was like the worst question ever. Thank you, Ms. Range. I appreciate that. Ms. Harvey, what's your topic, please? Baton Death March. The Baton Death March. And you history people, we're going to, I bet a lot of you are going to come up with the same topics. We'll come back to that in a second. Ms. Becker, who's down there someplace, what's your topic, please? Assuming you can hear me. 
Um, the internment of Japanese Americans. Thank you so much. Uh, AJ, you have not chosen a topic yet, correct? Oh, I think maybe you did. AJ, if you could unmute your mic and then I'll get Kylie Morgan next so Kylie, you can unmute as well. Um, AJ, what's your topic or am I wrong? Um, Starbucks. Starbucks, you did tell me that. I apologize. You actually told me that a number of days ago. Thank you. Ms. Morgan, what's your topic? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Very good. FDR. Now, I abbreviated that, and I don't think Kylie cares. It just says Roosevelt. Um, I guess technically somebody could do Eleanor Roosevelt, who is a very important woman in history, but nobody else has said that, so I just left it Roosevelt. So thank you, Kylie. Uh, Ms. Gibby, what is your topic, please? General MacArthur. One of the important generals from World War II. Awesome, Lauren. Thank you so much. Ms. Pierce, what's your topic? I thought you told me, or am I wrong? Uh, I said McDonald's. You did say McDonald's. I That was like yesterday, I think. Didn't you just send that to me? So uh, thank you. So you're doing McDonald's, another American company. Um, and then I just had somebody jump, and I missed somebody. Apthorpe, I'm sorry. You skipped. The screen's shifted on me. So Ms. Apthorpe, what's your topic? Um, Dunkin' Donuts. Awesome. So he, let's do this. Here's what we're doing. Remember, I want you to, and if you can do it during class, cool, you can just send it to me. I did create a, an assignment Dropbox, like in Google Classroom. Um, so here's what I want you to do. You're going to Google, going to Safari's regular nonsense, whatever they come up with, and you're going to search for your topic. Now, if you're like Sarah Harvey, you type in Baton Death March. She knows how to spell it. It's spelled a little funny an extra a in there so she knows how to spell it you're going to put that whole thing in quotes so but quote baton death march and then end quote someone like Jaden doing ram trucks you probably could just type in ram trucks without the quotes and it's going to be fine so um for um for uh, gibby with macarthur it was a gibby i think they said macarthur wait did ison just arrive did someone text Dyson to show up? I bet somebody texted Dyson to come up. No, I didn't. Did he join? Eisen he is. He's here. Dyson, apparently you're bad at all video games, but I'm going to come back to yep. you in a second. Gibby, um, you're, so you might want to type in General Douglas MacArthur because there are other MacArthur's. There's other people out there. So, And Ison, you also, um, I think Ison, you selected Ford, if I remember correctly. Right, Ison? Yeah. Okay, Ison, you doing Ford trucks or just Ford as a company? Four as a company. Okay, that's great. That's fine. That's not a problem. So, okay, we all have our topics. So I'm here. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere. I want you to go on your your device, wh whatever you want to do it. Uh, if you have to kind of minimize the screen, Morgan's rolling her eyes too, which is nice. If you want to minimize it, that's cool. But please go and search for your topic. And all I want, this is it, very simple. I want you to find five good websites, five, five, you couldn't see my thumb, five good websites where you're going to find information about your topic. All I want you to do right now is just copy the web link. And since I can't stop you, Wikipedia would be okay. Now, somebody like Jaden, Ram Trucks, Ram Trucks own website is probably a good one for Ison, Ford, Ford Motor Company, that website's good. For you history people, what I found Tuesday is most of you were finding stuff on history.com. Like when you type it in, type in your stuff, history.com was one of the first things that came up. So, uh, you know, you're welcome to write that down too. Uh, for those company people like Starbucks, for Pepsi, for McDonald's, uh, going and um, actually going to those company websites, those are fine. But I want five. That's that first assignment thing. Find five links. And I'd like you to do that now. Uh, I'm here. I'd like you to do that now so that you can find stuff and I can help if need be. When and if you get done, you can also just send that to me in Google Classroom. But that's today's purpose. Today, I just want you to find some general links. I don't want you to read this stuff. I don't want you to spend time on that yet. I actually want you to go and read that later. But right now, we're just looking for stuff. And I've no Do we just idea. find information about it or? I, I do want you to, uh, Brandon, I do want you to find information. Today, I just want you to start by getting links. So for Jaden's, uh, Jaden, show that again, because that's exactly right. So Jaden, he's doing a company. So he went to Ram Trucks and that's the website for, for Ram. So um, you absolutely can go there. Starbucks is the same, same deal. All those type of things. So that's what I'd like you to do right now. And I am, like I said, I'm here. Um, but I just want you guys to do that in class. 
Um, it's 2.12, we're halfway through, and I will start bothering you, maybe in like five minutes. I'm gonna call on you and ask you, hey, what's the first website you found? When you go to Google, typically the top one uh, is in a company is like one they pay to get put at the top of the link. So I bet Ram Trucks was at the top. If you type in Starbucks, I'm pretty sure Starbucks, the company website will come up first. Um, but there's other things too. So you can't just use the company for people like Sarah, for people like Lauren Gibbs, for people like, I'm trying to think who else had one, uh, Abby, and I don't remember who else. Somebody else had a, a history topic too. History.com, Wikipedia, and then what else? What else do you find? So that's what I want you looking for right now. So I'm gonna stop talking and then you can, I would like you to be looking. I see people putting up weird pictures and stuff like that while they're searching for stuff. Jaden's on a, on a desktop too, or a laptop rather. So let's go for it. Let's see what you guys can come up with. Please look for, we're looking for five sources. You can turn off your, your uh, cameras if you want to. Um, that's up to you. But that's what we're doing. And I'm going to start at 2.13. At 2.18, I'm going to start asking people for stuff. And Gibby, it looks like a hands up. I don't know if you did that on purpose or not. Yeah, I already did this this morning. Awesome. Did I you send like it to me? 12 of them. And I... Did, did it you, in Google Docs and I had submitted it to Classroom? Okay, I'll tell yeah, you while you're here, why don't I do this? I'll look right now and if you don't mind, I mean obviously I'm sure there's not going to be problems with it, but um, if you don't mind, I'll go through it right now. Okay. Thank you. And by the way, I don't think you're alone. I think I got something from Kylie Range too. Yeah, I did it too. Okay. Is that Morgan I heard? Yeah. Okay. So let I me... asked if I needed to add more, but I don't think I do, so... <laughs> All right, so I see five people. So let me first go to um, Gibby because you were the one that said it. Uh, you submitted as a PDF, which is totally fine. I'm not turning off my, my camera, so you'll see my face as I'm reading, which is fine. And Gibby, that's perfect. There's a ton of stuff there. That is wonderful, uh, Gibby. That's going to be great for you. So Gibby, you're cool. And in fact, if you give me a second, Lauren and everyone else, I'll tell you what the next step is. But that's, that's in just a second. I'm going to look at uh, Sarah Harvey's now. when it loads. Okay, so Sarah, you've got it. You've actually kind of done part of the next step and you have some more to do for this step. I'm not going to like give you a hard time about it. Um, so you've got history.com. Now that's the, the main source for that is at history.com, but each one of those items would have like a specific web page or web link. So if I went to the, the uh, history.com for the Baton Death March, it would say like history.com slash baton hyphen death march whatever so minor change so i am looking for this step because if we have time this year there are a couple other things i want to teach you so if you can put the whole web address that would be great um if that makes sense simple change and you've got three sources so that's fine for the rest of it sarah you're actually a little and i see it kira um that's actually a little bit ahead because i will want you to get some facts so that's you're actually two steps ahead so that's awesome thank you uh gibby do you have another question because your hand's still up. Okay. Uh, Kira, you did have your hand up for a second. What's up? Um, do we have to find all five web links today? Nope. You can take, in fact, you can, I think I put the due date like Sunday or something, but take your time to find oh. what you can. We're, have, we have class time now, so this is not a bad time to do it. But no, it does not have to be done this second right now. Okay. So let me go to the next thingy. Um, let me look mm -hmm. at Kylie. Did you show you one link right now? Um, just I'll, what I'm going to ask you at 218, which is two minutes away, I'm going to ask you, what's the first thing you found? So I'm looking at Kylie Morgan's as a perfect example of what I was talking about. The first thing is history.com slash topics slash U.S. hyphen presidents slash Franklin D. Roosevelt. So that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. So, um, yeah, and, and that's excellent. Kylie Morgan, that looks great. Uh, let me come back to Caroline. Looks like Caroline just turned something in. I'm going to look at Caroline's. I'm sure it's going to be fine because I could see like a rough, yep, Caroline, yours looks good. Um, let me look, Kylie Range. Uh, adding more, Kylie, you probably have enough. Kylie, you know this. Actually, Kylie, let me ask a question. You immediately asked for this. Um, so you like Jeep? You guys don't have a Jeep. You like Jeeps, right? Is that where this comes from, Kylie Range? Okay, you're nodding. That's fine. So um, you, I know you know this. Jeeps are such a popular thing in so many ways um 
there is, you can take this topic. I'm not making you do this. You could take this topic though and go a billion different ways. So you, yours looks great. I have no problems with it. If you want to find more, you can, for instance, you could do an entire research topic on the things people do to modify their Jeeps, how they change them, lift kits and colors and different convertible tops and bumpers and stuff like that. Whatever you want to do is fine. Haley, I do see your hand up. Go ahead. Do we like so? Say we found our first thing off of Safari. Do we have to tell you Safari, or do we have to tell you the? Nope, you're actually going to go to the the bar up top that's got the web address for it, and that's what I would like you to share with me. Okay. So, um, okay, Abby, I'm looking at yours. Yours is fine too. For all of you history people, I know I said this. I'll merely repeat it. Uh, make sure that you don't just simply spit out the stuff that Pav gives you. Um, but I, you know, I'm not really terribly worried about it. Okay, so 218 is here, and we're doing this. I know I just read five or six of them, but we're doing this quickly. Um, Kylie Morgan, we don't have to hear from you because I read yours. Uh, Jaden, uh, Jaden, was the first one you found? Was that Ram Trucks? I'm assuming that because we saw that on your screen. Yeah, that was the first thing that popped up. Awesome. Uh, Brandon, can I assume the first thing for you was NFL.com? Yeah. Okay, I would assume so. Um, actually, and you know this, the NFL is probably going to be, be in the news quite a bit coming up. They just had the draft, but the question is going to be, are they going to have a season? So that, and yep. obviously is a lot of buff. What's that, buddy? I think they're going to have a season. I think at one point I read they might try to play games without people in the stands. Um, yeah. Which, I don't know how that works, but um, – because they make a lot of money from people being in the stands and buying stuff at the, at the um, uh, stadium. So, uh, but yeah, so that's going to be in the news coming up soon. Miss Harvey, can I assume the first one you came up with is probably history.com? You're nodding. Well, history, I think I saw that number two. You had Britannica on there too, if I remember correctly, but okay. Um, AJ, what is the first thing you found? Was it starbucks.com? I can hear you. Well, actually, we need to, yeah. I actually could hear your head rattle. Okay, um, thank you. Gibby, first source was what again for everyone's benefit? History.com. Thank you so much. Ison, I assume, was it Ford Motor Company or something else for you? I'm not sure what you came up with. It was just Ford.com. Okay, uh, Kylie Morgan, we already read. Uh, Kylie Range, yours was different because Jeep was the last thing, but I didn't know if you just put that on there first and just kept adding above it. So what was the first thing? Was it Jeep.com the first thing, Kylie Range? Okay, thank you. Abby, first thing that you came up with? Uh, Khan Academy. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, well, that's because that's the Japanese internment camp. Okay, was that stuff Pav gave you guys, Khan Academy, or not? No. Okay. Uh, Caroline Apthorpe, and she's shaking her head no, too. Okay, Caroline, uh, what's the first thing you found? Um, it was like a blog. I didn't know we weren't supposed to read through them yet because I did it this morning. No, you, can, no, you totally can do that. That's okay. Okay, well, I it's a blog about how Duncan like sells their products and uses different platforms and stuff. Okay, so you heard me say a little bit ago that Sarah Harvey was like two steps ahead. Caroline, that and this is great. This is not a problem. You're actually like three steps ahead. That's one of the last things we're going to do is I'm going to be wanting you to look at for, for companies. How do they sell stuff to you? Jeep is easy. Um, Ram trucks is kind of easy. Ford, because uh, Ison's looking at the whole company, it's a little bit harder. But you food like Tim Hortons. Somebody's got Tim Hortons in the other class. We got Tim Hortons, Starbucks, um, Dunkin' Donuts. So they definitely try to get you to buy their stuff a certain way. So Caroline, that's great information. Keep it. Um, and that will be beneficial. So yes, a blog could be fine. Did you type in how do they sell or something like that? Yeah. I, I searched up like Dunkin' Donuts marketing. Basically. Oh, that's outstanding. That's great. Fantastic. So that's cool. Thank you. Uh, Haley, what did you find first? I searched up Chick-fil-A.com. Okay. Okay. So is that what, that's the first source that came up there? Yeah. Chick-fil-A is really kind of weird because they are the only major business I can think of, like food business. They are not open on Sundays. And that's a big part of who Chick-fil-A is because of their religious beliefs, like the company. Um, so that's a big part of Chick-fil-A. And, and that's something you'll have to look up. If you go to Chick-fil-A, like there's not, the closest one's Erie, I think, for, you, for all of us. Um, you go to the Chick-fil-A in Erie, I'm pretty sure they're still closed on Sunday, aren't they? I don't know if anybody I can confirm. So. Yeah, I think they are. So, and I mean, McDonald's isn't closed on Sunday. Tim Hortons, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, but Chick-fil-A is, and 
people don't mind that. So that's kind of cool. Um, thank you, Haley. Appreciate it. And last but not least, Kara, what was the first thing you came up with? Can I assume it was like McDonald's website? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. It's 222. So here's what I'm going to ask. I'm going to tell you, again, just to repeat what you're doing right now. You're looking to submit this. There you go. Close. Thank you, Jaden. Yep. There we go. Um, so Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday still. I thought I read at one point they were thinking about reopening but or, or opening that day. But um, Okay, so you're finishing this assignment. A bunch of you were already done. Five sources, just list the sources. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do next week, and nobody's done this yet, so this is for everyone to hear. We're going to look at the school databases to find stuff about your um, – about your topic. And it doesn't matter whether you are history or whether you are a company, you can use this. It's good experience for when you guys go into high school, you need to use our school databases for research. The step after that is the Sarah Harvey step, I'll call it that way. So where you're going to be actually looking to pull facts out of what you got. So that's going to be like the next step after. The step um, after, I just, go I ahead, just Sarah. And I just reassigned um, or resubmitted my website links for you in the same it should be in the same dropbox okay that's cool thank you so that's that's the sarah harvey step the step after the sarah harvey step uh is where we're going to be looking like the caroline apthorpe step or i want you for the companies you're looking to see how they sell stuff to you so that's for the companies for the people that are doing history we're going to talk about the importance of the event in american history so world war ii is well, now, 80 years ago uh, from, from right now. Some of you might still have a grandparent, uh, I guess great-grandparent, that's still alive that was in World War II. Those people are, there's not many of them left. They're getting older. They're passing on. So as a result, that's kind of an important thing. What do we learn from that? What's the importance in American history? So when the companies are dealing with how they sell to you, the history people are dealing with the importance and how it's affected our society. So it's 224. I want to stop talking. This is a chance for questions, if you have any. Um, I appreciate many of you being here and looking for stuff and finding stuff. I don't think this is hard, but it's something that when we piece together, there's a lot to it. So uh, it's a chance to ask questions. I am finished as far as what I'm asking you to do. However, I'll be here till at least 2.30 if you have questions. I know that I think it was Kira or somebody else was saying that, you know, you know, do we need to submit right now? The answer is no. You have more time. Um, but I'm here to help if you need it. So are there questions from anybody um, before we move on? And you can say no, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Kylie, Morgan's yawning. Keith is talking. Thank you, Mr. Keith. Okay. Range is shaking her head. Okay. So I'm here. You are welcome to leave, especially for those people that have already submitted the assignment early, which is awesome. And thank you for that. Um, otherwise, I will see you next week, next Thursday at this time. Stay safe. Next Thursday, by then it should warm up again. It's supposed to snow tomorrow or Sunday, um, which is yuck. Um, so aside from the fact that it's snowing, or will snow, then it's going to warm up. So we're just about to actually hit spring weather by next Thursday. Um, I do hope you are doing well. I hope everything's okay. And I will talk to you soon. But again, I'm here for questions for a little bit longer. And we'll see you soon. So thank you for attending and all that other stuff. Have a good day. Thank you. You too, Kira. Thanks for coming. Yep. Bye, Haley. Hello, AJ. I just said hello. You're the last one in the meeting still. Oh, that's fun. It is fun. How are you? How have you been? Great. Are you eating cookie dough? Um, no, I'm making my birthday cake. When's your birthday? Tomorrow. Happy birthday. Well, happy early birthday, but happy birthday. I, I know you know this. It's kind of yucky that we have to... You know, we're not in school, uh, but I hope you have a decent birthday. Are you going to have anything decent done for you by, like, brothers, mom, dad, any of that fun stuff? My grandparents are coming. Very nice. Don't they live in, like, Texas or Florida? Um, no. That you had somebody that lives a long way. Nonetheless. They live in Sugar Grove. Oh, okay. I hope you have a lovely birthday. Um, aside from, like getting ready to like drop a cake in the oven. Any questions you have for me? No. Okay, very good. Out. What's that? 
that I have all three cakes out already. Oh, well, what are you doing? That Was that frosting? Buttercream. Oh, well, very nice. Well, tomorrow I drive to school and, and do food delivery. So I'll swing by, pick up a piece on the way to school. So I'll, I'll just pull in the driveway. It's fine. It'll be your birthday too. So, so we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for in advance for giving me a piece of cake. Have a lovely week. We'll, we'll see you really soon.